So let's get right into it with the, the story that everyone is, I think, watching right now, really kind of unfolding hour by hour, and that's the situation uh, in Israel and the broader Middle East, specifically with Lebanon and Iran. You know, your colleagues at the State Department right now are engaged in very high-stakes effort to try and find some diplomat diplomatic off-ramp to the potential for a much broader war igniting, whether it be between Hezbollah and Israel or Iran and its proxy forces. I'd love to just start with your observations on where we are in this moment and what are you seeing as the prospects for some kind of diplomatic solution that prevents a wider conflict? Uh, there's no doubt we're at a very difficult moment um, because of the assassination of Hanea in Tehran, uh, right uh, during the inauguration, <clears throat> excuse me, of Iran's new president, which is a humiliation uh, of the government of Iran and also undermines all of their security. Um, Iran feels it must respond. Likewise, there has been loss of leadership in Lebanon and Hezbollah believes that it needs to attack as well. And Hamas, of course, uh, feels that the ongoing war by Israel in uh, retaliation and in ensuring uh, their security um, by Israel after the horrific attack on October 7th, uh, where over 1,200 Israelis were killed in brutally and horrifying uh, terrorist ways, uh, that uh, in fact Hamas wants to keep going. And we've seen a really uh, difficult moment in <clears throat> yesterday. Sinwar, who has been uh, the leader uh, in the underground networks of Gaza, really the decision maker around the ceasefire, was named to replace Hania, which means that Sinwar is now really in charge of everything uh, that is going on uh, and everything that is decided, which probably means that the ceasefire is going to be even tougher. Uh, the ceasefire is the only sure way uh, that there is a future for the Palestinians and that Israel's security is assured, which is, of course, our number one uh, priority. And, of course, getting the hostages returned. There are American hostages uh, that are among those that are being held in Gaza. So we're at a very tough moment. We are waiting uh, to see whether uh, the retaliation, the response uh, will be measured, well calibrated, to uh, reestablish deterrence on all sides. Now, President Biden spoke to the leaders of Qatar and Egypt yesterday, uh, trying to get them to push for the ceasefire, which would help with a stand down from a wider war. I don't believe that Israel wants a regional war. I don't believe Lebanon wants a regional war. I don't believe Yemen wants a regional war. Syria, I don't believe Iran wants a regional war. But calibrating the response in a way that doesn't lead to that regional war, uh, we haven't seen such a great way forward in that regard. But I'm hopeful that the president's diplomacy, Secretary Blinken's endless diplomacy, uh, will in fact get us uh, to the right place. Uh, but we're all on a knife's edge at the moment. There's no doubt about that, Shane. 